Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to improve your handwriting in GoodNotes. So first step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click these three dots and we're gonna go to Stylus and Palm Rejection and make sure that you choose the right writing posture because it's different for everyone. So especially if you're left-handed, it's gonna be important to you to tell GoodNotes which one it is. After that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go I've created just a bullet points uh, dotted paper from GoodNotes and that helps me to write because then I have some guidelines, but I'm going to show you something that works even better. So I usually choose the highlighter tool and then I choose the size I want it. So let's say I need a headline and I'm going to draw it here. And if it's too small, I'm just going to draw another one, another line, just hold it. Or what I can do if I feel like it's you know easier, I can just choose the right size for me for my highlighter. And then I just drag it like that. And then this is my title or whatever. Then I choose a smaller one and I'm gonna add some bullet points. So I'm just adding them on the dots. So the dots really help me to organize this. And then once I have that kind of uh, you know structure, that I want, then I'm gonna copy it and then paste it uh, to the other place that I'm gonna put the text in. And I'm gonna add, copy both of these and I'm gonna paste both of these as well. So copy and then holding the pencil and pasting it. Now that I've done this, I'm gonna choose my pen that I want to use. I'm gonna make it black color, make sure the size is right. And then I'm going to write my title over here. When I write my title, what I focus on the most is that I touch this bottom part. And so I write T and then I write I and then I write T and then I write title like this. Or I usually, this is not my go-to um, style. I usually go crazy. So I let myself to just go crazy and then... I am slower there and then I'm gonna write title like this. So that's my title and then I'm gonna write my first paragraph. Again, the structure is the same. I make sure that I touch uh, the bottom over there. And I also try to make it that this part is similar as well. But I, I used to have two lines here, but it's just, it made me too nervous, honestly. So, and then I can try different styles and see what works for me personally. Or I could try something like this. So this could be more what works for you on paper kind of thing, but here they are. And now when I delete it, so I can choose to erase only the highlighter. As you can see, it's already more neat immediately. That's how it is. And then I can also make it bigger, smaller uh, afterwards, which also helps me create what I personally want the most, you know? So you, once you write it, you can move it around and I can choose which one I like the most. So let's say I like the most, the sec the third one. So I'm gonna delete these. And just keep this one if I want but again I usually just do it like that and then so I'm gonna write uh, again need to zoom in because if I don't so then it doesn't look as good and then I'm gonna write here something and after this I'm gonna show you another strategy that can really improve your handwriting uh, for sure. So I'm gonna write just lorem ipsum, lorem, and just show you how it looks like. This is how it looks like. It immediately makes it more neat. If you feel like, for example, the text is too far away apart, then that's what you improve, which you, you would just make these closer together. And then, you know, when you write next time, it will be closer together and look better. So, that's it for this. The next step is to actually use the text. So choose the font that you like, whichever it is. So let's say I'm gonna choose Bradley Hand. 
and then I'm gonna just add some text to it. So let's say uh, I want to practice letter A, so I'm gonna add a bunch of A's. So I start with letters like that, so I just write as many as I want. So for you not to feel overwhelmed, what you can do is decide, for example, each day I practice one letter or three letters and that's the, that. You don't need to, you know, go crazy or anything. So now that I have had have it, I'm going to choose a very bright color. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to make sure this is the right size. And then I'm going to start copying it like that. So I can go as slow or as fast as I want to. And I'm just tracing the letters. So I'm tracing it, I'm tracing it. And I can, you know, trace all of them like that. Once I'm done tracing my letters, and once I see which ones I need to work on more, uh, then I'll kind of note, take a note of that and kind of know it for the next day. So let's say I'm gonna delete now, um, I'm gonna move the text over here, and this is how it looks like. And also the next exercise is to actually uh, just not use the tracing, but just write them next to each other. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try to write them as similarly as I can over here. And after I'm done with this, after I wrote uh, the letters here, the most similarly as I can to this, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna move forward and now I'm gonna write the same letters but just the way I feel like is the prettiest ones. So I don't try to make them all similar or the same. I'm kind of just writing the letters as I go. So again, I can uh, try different variations of it and just see what feels for me the best. So I can make the little ones and that would be the practice. The next part is that obviously there are some fonts you're gonna like, but then there's some fonts that you will want to use, you know, from uh, let's say an Etsy shop or something. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, we're gonna go to Etsy and we can look at their fonts there. So let's say fonts, uh, handwritten, and then once I do that, I just choose the font I want and then you can, you know, buy the font that you want. What you can also do is that they have some uh, words written. So to see if that would work for you, you can screenshot this and then you can move back to GoodNotes, add the image of that screenshot, uh, zoom it in. Let me do it like that. And once I have it zoomed in, then I'm gonna try to uh, to copy it and see if that actually looks good on my handwriting. So I'm just gonna try to trace it. And you don't have to go in one go, you could go like with small strokes at first, but obviously it's better if you do go in one go, especially with these handwritten fonts. So I'm gonna go like this. And as you can see, I am struggling here a little bit with it. I think it's because it's too, like I made it too big for myself, uh, then I'm not able to control it. I also make sure that I press the palm to the screen. That helps me a little bit. And as you can see now that I didn't make it as big, it helps me a little bit. So let me move this so you can see the difference. Oh, great. <laughs> I did it like that. Anyways, I think you can still see it that this part over here was so wobbly because um, I made it so uh, big for myself. But once I made it, like kind of, it's if it's too big, it's too hard. If it's too small, it's too hard. You have to kind of find the happy medium. So now, and so you need to find the size that basically you can hold your palm at one spot and write the whole thing. That way it really helps to kind of work on it. Let's try one more word uh, from this. So I can try the lane word 
and then again i'm gonna just zoom in make sure it's not too big not too small and then i'm gonna add the line over here oh i don't know why i can't oh it's black sorry let me make it pink so you can actually see it so that's how it is and this is you know and once i see that i really like this font that's when i would buy it because sometimes it looks great but then for your handwriting it's not gonna do much again now once i've done that then i will increase the thickness and then i'm gonna add the thicker parts or the the font also has some thicker parts so now you can barely see it um let me move the the actual image a little bit to a side so see now i have those thicker and thinner lines and we're gonna do the same where now i'm gonna try to do this but without the help uh so i'm just gonna try to kind of copy it myself i'm gonna do it like that again not too big not too small really important tip i think so i'm gonna do it like that Fling. and and again we can always go back but it kind of gives you um because if you're just tracing it's not going to be enough uh, you need to start writing yourself and then i'm gonna go here i'm gonna go here i'm gonna go here and here and over here again as i said it doesn't have to be an hour practice you could practice a little bit every day but as you can see immediately um this looks better than let's say this one and better than this one so it does help uh to improve and one last tip i want to tell you about handwriting is that once i do something like this let me do a black one so let's choose i usually like 0 0.3 uh, and then I'm gonna zoom in of course. I'm gonna add a little bit of a highlighter to help myself Over here, so I'm gonna use it like that and then I'm gonna try and write something like let's say I will write example so It's also what you could do is you could combine uh, Language learning with this. So let's say you're learning Spanish or something so then you could write uh, here something like gracias thank you so you can practice the handwriting and language learning at the same time what i wanted to show you with this this one is actually a little too thick for that for you to see so i'm gonna do another one uh let's say what other <laughs> spanish word do i i know um let's say Buenos dias. Buenos dias. And I can uh, also try different ways to write it. So I'm going to write it like that. I will also make it even thinner. Oh, last one, I promise. Then I'm going to show you something really cool. So. As you can see, you become more adventurous as you go, and that's kind of the point of it. So now I have my handwriting. I'm gonna choose a little thicker pen. And now everything that's going down when I'm writing, so every stroke that's going down, I'm gonna do go down as well. So for example, this part, I'm going up, so I'm not gonna touch it. This one is going like that, I'm not going to touch it. But as soon as it's going down, I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. And this one is a little too much, maybe like 0 0.2. Uh, zoom in and then I just color it in like that. And don't be afraid to go back. Obviously, uh, you will maybe need it in the beginning. I don't like how it looks like so I'm just gonna add this part over here or nothing at all I'm just gonna add lines okay it's too much for me so maybe it's too much for you also so that's that's how it looks like and then each time I see a line that goes down I'm making it uh, go as well a little bit down so like 
this part right here. So here, so it does add to it. Um, and obviously if I added this one, I think it's just this one is too thick and then that one is too thin kind of thing. So I think I messed up when I chose the pen, but anyways, you can do it like that. And um, let's do gracias. So for example, I'm gonna do it like this and I'm gonna try to hold the pen as much as I can then I make it thicker and again I'm gonna do it like that I'm gonna add some some line to it some definition uh, or the when I'm writing when it's going down that's when I focus on it so here so this is how it looks like I hope this video was helpful please let me know if you have any questions or you would like more similar videos I will be more than happy to create them for you and thanks so much for watching see you next time bye